Um, okay, let's uh, let's start. Um, uh, well, this is uh, this is going to be a video review for our uh, f facial rig. Uh, this is uh, the project we have been working on on uh, the higher degree training cycle in video game design. Uh, we have this uh, this character and the facial rig made in blender 3.6.4 okay let me let me explain a little bit about uh, about the rig itself um okay well we usually uh, do two rigs in the first trimester of, uh, of our uh, the second course um this is the simple rig it has uh, just uh, some bones for the head and neck rotation, it has a root bone, it has uh, some um, eyelid, eyelid bones, eye uh, target for the side, um, it has uh, well, the nose, uh, some, some little bones to control the, the bone, let me show you, it goes like that. We can control the the jaw too with the, the press r for rotation um the eyelids uh, work almost automatically um following following this uh, eye target see but uh, we can also um, rotate it manually. Let's grab this. Still, still works. Okay. The eyebrows. Uh, it has uh, a simple eyebrows uh, bones. All these, uh, all these um, bone systems uh, will be quite uh, more advanced. In the second rig, this is just uh, a simple version. So, yeah, the the, the second rig we will uh, we'll have a lot of uh, bone handlers. We'll have a lot of uh, targets. We'll have expression bones. Uh, we will we will have we will have to make um, some drivers and uh, controllers for the for those drivers. Um, let's rotate. We need to make uh, uh, clones of uh, almost uh, every bone. Um, we will have a, a lip system. Uh, or lip bone system all around the mouth so we can make a lot of expressions um, we might as well put some uh, bones in the ears it depends on the character of course uh, this is kind of an orc or a goblin so uh, he should be able to move the, its ears so so yeah we're going to put some uh, bones in the ears uh, the the eyebrow system is going to have uh, two handers, two deformed bones. Um, the eyelids are going to have a uh, also targets. Well, no targets, not the hand handlers. Are going to have handlers, so we can we don't need to do uh, this. Um, well, it's not a big uh, issue. Uh, we can we can rotate it manually, but. Uh, it's easier if uh, we just put a hand this and a hand in, in this position and just uh, move it up uh, up and down so this uh, this are this is uh, the bone system so far um, there are some uh, a pair of uh, custom bones just I just modeled it 
to simple um, to simple meshes and uh, use uh, the parameters in the bone section to let me see where where they are. where are they up oh, here viewport display ah uh, here here we have let me make this a little bit bigger so you can uh, look at it better yes uh, these are the properties or parameters that allow us to change the the visual in uh, in our bones so if uh, under root if i delete its reference the root bone will uh, return to its normal state I am not using um, the octahedral uh, visualization so I, I'm using the stick visualization um, you can go back to default octahedral but uh, I prefer to use the stick one it's uh, not as inv invasive um, let's uh, put back that uh, that uh, custom bone again uh, viewport display custom object I already have uh, two two of those uh, meshes um, but they are inside a collection that it's um, it's hidden but, uh, I know the the name under root okay so these are the the custom meshes for for the bones um, let's uh, let's make another one i think that we can make uh quickly can make another one and um, let's see just uh well just circle Just a circle, uh, but uh, we're going to make it uh, a little bit different. I need the something to tell me the position of uh, of the mesh. Ah, something quick, something like this. Oh, I'm using the keystrokes like crazy all right something like that and uh, i'm going to put this with the rest of the handlers in the handler um, collection let's change uh, its name circle handler dot circle that will be there let's uh hide hide it all again and let's uh, select the rig select one of the bones the head bones and use that newly created uh, mesh we just uh, we just did um here it is now okay the, we have a little bit of problem here um, the the custom bone is going to appear at the head of the, of the bone so we can we can just uh, let it uh, be there or we can change its uh, position scale uh, rotation whatever I think I'm going to change a little bit Not, not see why like this a little bit bigger and oh 
Okay, let's uh, let's just reset all the bone positions to see how it will end well. It's uh, still too low. Let's move it a little bit. Okay, maybe now. No, too far. There you go. Oh, the other one, the the well, the, the neck bone can uh, use that that same custom mesh let's just uh, look for handlers that's it handler circle and again let's uh, do a little bit of uh, rotation uh, I prefer to use positive uh, numbers just uh, it it's doesn't doesn't really matter this needs to be a little bit bigger not that big maybe yes maybe that big so again the custom shape or custom mesh for the bone appears at uh, the bones head um, coordinates so yeah we need to well it's not that we need to but uh, it's uh, it's better if we just move it a little bit in the y-axis Something like this. Now I'm I'm thinking that uh, uh, maybe this bone, maybe I could just let it a, li a little bit of uh, an angle here, not uh, just. Horizontal. I mean, I could give it um, a little bit more. Yeah, looks more natural. So this uh, it will make uh, easier to grab the bones and to well just uh, animate them. Now we just need to make uh, another custom shapes for the rest of the bones, but uh, I, I already have those in uh, previous um, models, so I might just uh, just as well just uh, import them from another Blender uh, file. Okay. Well, okay, that's it. 